But I, I can't help but see in our own chat, like, there's a ton of talk right now about Urban Meyer. I, like this is like to me. I mean, are you do you do you do you know? Are you have you ever Googled Urban Meyer? Have you ever looked back at what he's done in the most recent? Like you know, look, we're not talking about what happened in Florida when he had you know heart issues and he resurfaced right away and went to Ohio State and then he had brain issues caused by things not n allegedly medically related. Yeah. However, you know, his last stop at Jacksonville, like there's no possible way. You no. remember remember him at Jacksonville, ladies and gentlemen. He decided not to go <laughs> back with the team and someone filmed him at a bar and he was, you know, this is not the kind of thing that you want yeah. at Michigan State right now. I, I just, you know, yeah. I'm not judging the guy. I just don't think that he passes the vetting for Michigan State football, I don't understand that part. You know, Chu, do you, would you have any thoughts on that? <laughs> uh, yeah, I got thoughts on it. Urban is not a good fit for Michigan State. Uh, you know, it, he is, um, he is, he's not a good dude. <laughs> you know, overall, he, he's he's a don't get me wrong, he's a good coach. He wins, but he's not a good dude. And uh, at Michigan State, you want people that are good dudes. You know, people that can come in and uh, be sitting in the living room, you know, with the family. And that still holds weight. I know people talk NIL and money and everything like that. But that trust in your coach, that still carries a lot of weight with a lot of people, with a lot of, you know, mothers out there. You know, football is, um, you know, there's a lot of single moms, you know out there that have athletes, you know, that are going to come to these schools. They want to know they're going to have uh, a father figure. The kid's going to have a father figure, someone that can show them the right way and everything like that. But, uh, you know, so it's, it's, um, I don't even think urban should be in a discussion. I don't think, I think it's a, you know, people are looking for a splash, a sexy pick and, you know, by throwing his name out there, but he's not even in that. He shouldn't be in the discussion. Yeah, for for no. me, like like he he can't, hey, he can't be. Marriott Nick Saban should not come back, either. Okay, who, who can't? Nick Saban. Yeah, uh, he, he, he's coming back. Al Nick, Alabama fans gonna run him out of town, and he's gonna come, Al, Nick, come Nick, for the prophecy. Nick, no, Nick ain't coming back here. Nick ain't coming. But back here. but yeah, I, I'm with you guys with Urban too. Like I just don't see any avenue that works due to the certain circumstances because. Because you just got rid of a coach because of some decision making off the field, and Urban Meyer, <laughs> what his stuff goes a lot deeper. I mean, there's, you got you got Aaron Hernandez. You got you got a whole lot of other things happening nope, there. No just, pun or pun, pun intended. Yeah, Which one? Just, just like like you, you you can't you can't like fire a coach because of poor choices off the field and then go, go replace them with a guy that's hiding murders and domestic <laughs> assault on the staff and all the other like all the other stuff like which like would be the main story for most people is just the side story for him so i just like you can't and the, you can't do it after <laughs> what you're going through right now because if if you're if you're the coach or the people that supported that the the previous coach and and then you see them bring in somebody that's morally done worse even like like how how do you sell that to to your trustees and your fan base uh yeah jay you culture for coach go ahead jay you <laughs> no i don't want none of that smoke <laughs> i don't know that vetting process how deep it goes <laughs> <laughs> and it goes all the way back to Liberia. 